Hey guys, this is Ash. I'm back with another BT09 deck profile. Today I'll be doing um, Crimson Impact Metatron, is the new Angel Feather build, and um, that came with BT09, and it's probably the first Angel Feather build that I find really fun to play. Though I would say Sham Shield was the first one that was really competitive. Um, this, where Sham Shield I say is a defensive build. This is more like a glass cannon build, and you'll see, you should be able to see why in this video, or in the match uh, video that should be following this, or, yeah. So, starter off, I run Crimson Heart Nahas, of course, this is a Metatron deck, so you run Nahas. A uh, 5k booster that is essentially a Criff. If you have Aphrodite and, um, on Vanguard and Barkul, uh, Barouche on, um, Rearguard, you can... Play Metatron from your deck. Um, essentially, you can minus two to ride grade three a turn earlier. Or if you're grade stuck, minus two to ride grade three from your deck. It's pretty good, and it's why uh, I can do some of the things that I do in this deck. Anyway, moving on. Triggers. I run, of course, eight crit. Um, Eight crit is what I've always really done in Angel Feather, and it hasn't really failed me, so why change a good thing? I am running three different kinds of crits, of course, to play that trick, you know, the mind game. Is he running 12 crit, or is he not? And then, oh, it's a draw trigger, so what is he running? Then I run four Fever Therapy Nurse. Um, like the Ride Chain pieces, this is a pretty good card in that... Well, one is a draw trigger, but it is essentially a counter blast itself. Give your Vanguard plus 3k. And uh, it's a really great card to put into the damage zone, trade into the damage zone, or whatever. And uh, she can give Metatron to some pretty uh, ungodly numbers. And then, of course, I run 4 heal. Uh, you know, I like this. I like 4 heal. Well, I'm not even going to get into that. Four heals normal. Everyone runs four heals, except for Kagi Rolls. Um, I really like that she is like the OTT heal, so if you ever need to shuffle her back. I don't really like to do that, because it's a minus one for like a chance at healing. But, um, you know, if you're like at five cards left in your deck, why the heck not? Um, moving on to grade ones, of course, for uh, Raquel's. Raquel's. Perfect guard. Four perfect guards. This meta is dangerous. A lot of crap out there, and you want to guard it. So, there's four perfect guards. You could probably run three if you really wanted to, because if you want to get your damage checked, you could always get it back. Then I run four Crimson Mind Barouche. Essentially, the same ability as the uh, draw trigger. Counter Blaster itself, plus 3k to Vanguard. Really good. Um, but she's also 7k, so she'll boost all your 9k's and make them 16's, hitting the 11's pretty easily. And, of course, you know, for that superior ride as well. And her art's pretty good, I guess. Anyway, um, moving on. Four Thousand Ray Pegasus, one of the stars of this deck. You want this boosting all three of the things on your field, you know? Uh... Mainly your rear guards first, and then Metatron. But uh, if you have three of these boosts in your field, then pretty good chance. Let me break four. You're gonna win the game. Then I run two Doctroids. I don't really like this, but Limit Break Four is very important to this deck. You need to hit Limit Break Four, um, and actually stay at Limit Break Four. And sometimes people will just stop you at three or MLB. Will stop attacking you with anything but MLB at 3. So, this lets you push you into limit break 4 and helps end the game faster. Kind of less one, you know, take a damage, heal it. This will kill you though, so don't use this at 5. For grade 2s, I run Aphrodite. Um, it's the other part of the ride chain. It's 9k, you know, so unlike Ezel, you know, too bad it's not a 10k, but. Uh, she does have the awesome ability to counter blast herself for plus 3k in Vanguard, so, uh, essentially you have 12 cards in this deck that let you counter blast themselves for plus 3k to Vanguard. 
and I run four million rare Pegasus. I'll let you hit some pretty high numbers. It's a pretty good attacker, but um, frankly, this is here to bait your opponent into attacking it, um, so that they don't attack the real star of your deck. And um, you know, she can hit pretty high numbers with Metatron. She'll be swinging for what 13 a turn at least. Uh, unboosted, so she'll hit Vanguard. Uh, she'll hit Cross Ride Vanguards and whatnot. Put that. Then these one of the stars of the deck, a Machine Gun Nocio. Um, I didn't like her in any other Angel Feather build, but she is really good in this build. And I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys or tell you guys later. But um, let you when you play her or when she. Um, is placed on rear, essentially, damage swap. And it is such such an important card in this deck. Then for grade threes, I run three Phoenix Calamity Flames. Um, you don't want to ride this ever, that's why there's only three instead of four. You know, typically I do 8, 11, 14, but t today for this deck I'm doing 7, 12, 14 as my ratios. And you don't want to hit, you, you don't want to ride this. And most of the time you don't have to ride this next to the ride chain and the whole damage swapping thing. You don't need to ride this most of the time, but um, she's again she's there to bait. She hits 14, so they're like, oh well, he's Angel Feather. She probably kill that, and she's better to bait damage. And you know she's a good thing if you don't have your no seal on the field. Then of course I run for Metatron. Why is she so good? Well, she's a 13k attacker essentially, Vanguard attacker. So with her, um, you know, if you don't have the superior ride, you put the, uh, what is it, Nahas behind her, and she swings 18. There you go. Magic number versus cross rides. Um, then, you know, like, they have an 11k, and you have one of the things in, uh, let's say you have an Aphrodite in damage. Flip it. Now she swings 21. Magic number versus 11k. So, and she can hit pretty high. But um, her limit break ability is the best ability, or why she's good. It's counter blessed, one, choose two rear guards, put them in the damage zone, then you choose two face up rear guards from your damage zone and um, call them in the rear. And that lets you set up some ungodly, awesome, powerful columns. So let's see what your ideal column is. Uh, let's see if I can set this up real quick. So you call over, you have three Pegasus, and uh, let's say you have, for some reason, you have four Aphrodite in your damage zone. And a whole bunch of whatever in your hand. Alright, what you do, this is your turn three, uh, turn four start, okay? Play no seal. Swap. Well, actually here. Do that again. Counter blast one. Plus three K to Metatron. Counter blast again. Aphrodite. It's all Aphrodite's. Plus three K to Metatron. Play this. Swap. There you put the draw trigger in there. And it's one swap, so these all get plus two. Then you would play another one. Swap it. Now you swap out the other counter blast. And for the Aphrodite you took out. Okay, so that's two swaps. Now limit break. Counter blast one. Choose two things, put them in damage, and then before you die, since the effect hasn't resolved, Pull the two things back out. Sorry that the camera is not really showing all this too well. Um, there's a kind of damage done right there. But, uh, so those two went into the damage. That's four. Now these come back out. Well, now this activates. Swap for that. Um, well, I did that out of order. I should have kind of blasted another one. So this, let's say I did that. Kind of blasted another one. So this is plus 9k. 
and then this now activates. Swap for another draw trigger. So that's six swaps. These are now an ungodly high number. These are 19k boosters. And this is 8k. So that's 27. This has plus 9 on it. So this is a 22 unboosted. Plus a 19k. And then you have all this crap here. So let's, you know, let's counterblast a few things. Um, you're leaving one counterblast. Okay. There you go. You leave one counterblast. You can do the swaps next turn. So plus 9 more k. So this is what? Plus 18k. 28 plus the 3k, the Winchy attacks of Vanguard. It's 31 plus 19k booster. This is 50k before it triggers. And then these are 27. So potential 37s. Basically, this is why this is a um, glass cannon build. If you have this setup, uh, which is actually not that hard to get. It's pretty easy considering that you can swap out what you need. Um, it's like, oh, I don't have this setup, and they're in the damage zone. Okay, now I have them. Well, your opponent really can't live through many turns of this. Um, actually, by the time you get to this point, you, they should probably almost be dead or anything anyway, just because all the crits you run. But um, this is why Metatron is a class cannon. It's considered the class cannon build. For Angel Feather, uh, at least before Celestials, which I don't think is really a glass cannon build anyway. But uh, just because you have ungodly high damage and she's just a 10k, that's why she's hard to defend. But you're gonna, you should be blowing through all your opponent's cards anyway, or killing the regards, okay? Silent Tom, okay. 31 your Silent Tom. You know, perfect shield, well, you're probably gonna let that die. Um, but I, why would I attack? Why would I not attack you if you had six cards in hand and three at three damage and you're not hitting heals or something? Attack you with all these attacks. Fifty. Uh, let's say perfect guard, double trigger, two crits. Well, one on each. There you go. Forty forty two, double crit. On each column. Can you guard that without perfect shields? Um you can, but You'd have to be playing like soulless and that blows through like your whole hand. So, two attacks like that. So, um, either you're going to win by getting Metatron off uh, with these kind of columns, or uh, your opponent will run out of hands and it will lead to your victory, hopefully. Unless it's tacking to some heal. So then, you know, I'm just like, sorry. But yeah, um, you know, this is a really fun build. I really love this build. Uh, I, there's a there's a match that we did with uh, showing off uh, how to play this build, and uh, I think I misplayed a little bit, but should give you guys a good idea of what it's capable of in actual you know play. And uh, maybe you guys check this out. And, um, yeah, it's been Ash from Imagine Your Goddess. See you guys next time.